I'm Stacy Holcomb, and this is part of my story. Um, my parents were both uh, heavy drug users, so um, God wasn't a thing in my house. I would go over to Alicia's house, and um, she actually, um, her neighbor had a pet chihuahua, and I started going over and petting the dog, and they realized that I was, um, didn't really look like a normal kid. I looked like I was, you know, hurting a little bit. So they started talking to me about God and then we, they started taking me to their church. It was exciting, but it was really scary. Uh, I remember I was really shy. So meeting new people really scared me. Um, but then I got there and they had Dunkin' Donuts and coffee and stuff and I liked that. So <laughs> that was the first thing that kept me like going because I got Dunkin' Donuts every Sunday. So <laughs> the ride was from, they'd pick us up in Apple Lake and they'd take us to Endicott to um, finish getting ready in the morning. I remember wishing all the time that they were my parents because I remember they're like, they loved me so much and they didn't even know me. They, they just loved me and they wanted to help some little kid and her sister <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> when they told me that they were moving down south to pastor their own church, they said, um, God's got a plan in my life and don't let you know the, the stains on my heart be the stains that stay with me. So um, they kind of like stayed with me pretty much throughout my whole entire teenage years. Like I, didn't, I was really mad at God. I was like, if God is real and if God is loving, like, why would he take these good people from me? Like, why would he take the only thing that I knew was love? You know, why would they take, why would he take, them, take them away from me? In my 20s, I kind of did turn away from God. Uh, not because I didn't believe in God, but just because of my situation. Um, after moving out of my parents' house um, from a broken home, I actually moved right into another broken home. I moved out one of my parents when I was 16 to move in with a boyfriend that ended up becoming abusive as well. I was working a dead end job at Jimmy John's and I was listening to the Effect radio station and I would kept on hearing Pastor Will's commercial about the new church he was starting in Binghamton and I kept on saying, oh, I should try it out, I should try it out, but I was afraid that I was gonna get the same rejection that I'd gotten. I haven't felt rejection at all from anybody at Two Rivers. I don't think there's not been one person that has even blinked an eye at my different look or my personality or anything. Um, everybody's literally welcomed me with open arms and um, I think the first time that I went to church, literally within two seconds of walking in, I got greeted by five people telling me where coffee was and if I had any questions and it's just like they instantly just, you know, said, here's love <laughs> and gave it to me. <laughs> it, was, it was like that feeling of being accepted and, and loved by just random strangers hit me again. I definitely would have gone down the same road in my family. Um, my, my stepdad overdosed in 07, and my mom's uh, still struggling with addiction. And um, I witnessed a little bit of an addiction in my 20s, and had I not known that it wasn't God's plan for me, I probably would have stayed into heavy addiction and who knows, I could have ended up dead by now.